Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we'll be creating this very simple application which allows you to write very dynamic QR codes. You can insert any URL, any text, and the QR code will be generated for it straight away. Now, just as a demo, I will simply paste my website's uh, URL over here. And as you can see, a QR code was generated straight away for it. And of course, if I scan it with my phone, just like I'm showing you right now, a QR uh, website, which is mine, will be generated straight away from the QR code. If you're interested in how to develop an app that uses QR code and generates them, please make sure you continue watching this video until the end. Welcome back guys. So the first thing we need to do is actually launch Xcode. Now I have it here in the doc. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I'll click on create a new Xcode project. I'll make sure I have iOS selected and then app selected and I'll click next and for now let's just call it QR code and ending it with a T. I will not include any tests. I'll make sure that the interface is on Swift UI. Now we can go ahead and click on next and I'll simply just save it in YouTube and I'll click create. You can of course save it anywhere else. Let's go ahead and expand this and the first thing I will do is actually close off canvas as we will not be using. Next we need to create a new file and just with content view selected I'll right click and I'll click on new file then Swift UI view and let's call this QR code view just like this. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and in and just under the import Swift UI I will say import foundation and then I'll say import core image dot ci filter built-ins just like this okay perfect under this we need to define our context so i'll simply say let context equal to ci context and then we will actually decide which filter we're using obviously in our case we're going to be using a qr code filter so i'll simply say qi uh, sorry ci filter dot qr code generator sounds pretty easy after that let's actually create the url so obviously we want the user to insert any url and we want the url to load up a qr code for now we're just going simply going to declare it like this after that this is when we actually start doing some work with the view so i will remove the text hello world and i will start by adding an image inside of here i'll simply say ui image and then I will say generated QR, open this and pass in the URL. Now it will cause an error and that's because we still did not declare this function. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I will say fun and I'll say generated QR. And inside of here what we can do is we can pass a parameter called string, uh, URL and that will carry a string and we will let this function know that we will be returning a UI image just like this. Now give it a second and all of a sudden we have no errors here but we do have an error here saying that we're missing a return function. Let's go ahead and add everything else. We need to have data in order to generate the QR code so I'll simply say let data equal to data and then URL dot utf8 perfect after that we're going to define the filter and we'll say filter dot set value and for the value we're actually just going to pass in that data that we just created from our URL and for key make sure you write this exactly the same I will simply say input message if this is anything different your app will actually crash then with a simple if statement, let's go ahead and check if we actually have anything. So I will say if let QR code CG. Actually, let's just say if let image one is equal to filter dot Apple image. And after that, I will say if let sorry image two equal to context dot create cgi image and inside of here we're going to pass the image which is a qr code image sorry i forgot i called it image one image one 
from image one dot dot extent just like this let's go ahead and return this image so i'll simply say return ui image cgi image and obviously we're going to pass in our second one which is image two perfect now if we leave this just like that we should be getting another error saying that we are not returning anything so let's go ahead and do this i'll simply say return and i'll say ui image system name and then ui image now what this is doing here is it's pretty much saying if we cannot create an image out of this url let's go ahead and actually put a default image now to put a default image all i'm going to do is just use a system image from the file which apple provides which i forgot where i saved it so i'll simply just say something like home let's go ahead save this and go back to our content view and that's when we're actually going to be calling this so if i go back here to my content view what we need to create first is a state for the URL so I'll simply say at var the URL that's what I'm calling it you can call it anything of course let's go ahead and remove this and instead add a vstack now I will be adding a text field to allow the users to put their URL so I'll simply open this and I will say enter your URL Let's add text and then I'll add a dollar sign that URL, which means anything that gets inserted into here will be saved inside of our the URL thingy over here. After that, we actually need to call our QR code view. So I'll simply say QR code view and we are going to pass in that URL that that user just inserted by simply opening and closing a quotation marks and place the URL inside. To make things look pretty, we are simply going to say dot padding, just like this. Okay, perfect. Now, let's go save this. Let's go over here. Now, if we actually run this right now, it will work and everything, but our image is going to be really tiny. So we need to do some work first in order to fix that. Let's go ahead and right under image, I am going to say resizable, and then I will add a frame and let's just give it 200 width, 200 height, and I will remove the alignment completely. Now, we still need to do one more thing, and that is add an interpolation, just to make sure that the quality is still looking good, and I will say dot .9, none. Let's go ahead and select an iPhone 11 Pro, run this, and see what we actually get. Okay, cool, so the app just loaded right now. As you can see, we do have our text field here where we can insert anything, and we also have a QR code, but it's an empty QR code. Now let's go ahead and actually put anything over here and I'll say H and as you can see, every single time this U this text field changes, the QR code gets generated. I'll say HTTPS and I'll say www.tapaway.com.au. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is basically just my website, which you can hire me. And if you can actually scan this right now, it will scan the QR code and it will take you to my website. Now, any URL that you put here, this QR code will actually be generated for it. You can actually even put just random text and the QR code will still be generated for it. If you really did enjoy this video, if you learned something new, if you learned how to make QR codes, Please make sure you leave a like, you leave a subscribe, and please let me know what you're going to be using this knowledge in doing. What are you actually creating? Thank you so much for watching, and make sure you do come back to this channel later on. Have a good day.